Morning prayers are a special way to start the day, offering peace, reflection, and connection with God. They set the tone for the hours ahead, helping us focus on the divine before the noise of the world takes over. One powerful aspect of morning prayers is the concept of stillness. Being still before God allows us to quiet our minds, center our hearts, and tune in to His presence. In a world filled with constant activity and distractions, stillness can be a spiritual reset that aligns us with God's will and peace. The practice of stillness during morning prayers creates space for us to hear God's voice more clearly. Often, we associate prayer with speaking, asking for guidance, blessings, or strength. While this is important, stillness reminds us that prayer is also about listening. God's voice is often gentle and quiet, and we need to silence the external and internal noise to hear Him. In the Bible, 1 Kings 19 verse 11 to 12 tells us how God wasn't in the wind, the earthquake, or the fire, but in a still small voice. This highlights that God often communicates in the quiet moments, not through the chaos or noise. Morning prayers are the perfect opportunity to embrace this stillness and invite God's presence into our lives. When we incorporate stillness into our morning prayers, it becomes more than just a moment of quiet. It becomes an act of trust. By being still, we acknowledge that we don't need to rush through the day, solving everything on our own. Instead, we trust that God is in control and we rely on His guidance. In Psalm 46, verse 10, God says, Be still and know that I am God. This verse is a powerful reminder that our strength comes not from constant action, but from resting in the knowledge that God is sovereign. In the morning when the day is fresh, it is the ideal time to remind ourselves of this truth and enter into His peace. Stillness in morning prayer is also a way to surrender our anxieties, fears, and worries to God. As we pause in His presence, we can let go of the burdens we carry. Many people wake up already feeling stressed or overwhelmed by the tasks and responsibilities that lie ahead. However, when we begin the day with stillness, we invite God to take those burdens from us. In Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30, Jesus invites us to come to Him with our burdens, and He will give us rest. Morning prayers allow us to do just that, lay down our worries and let God's peace fill our hearts. Moreover, being still before God in the morning offers us a chance to reset our minds and spirits. Throughout the night, our minds may have been filled with restless thoughts or lingering concerns. Morning prayers act as a cleansing, a way to renew our spirits and prepare ourselves to face the day with a fresh perspective. By starting the day with stillness, we clear away the mental clutter and allow God's presence to refresh us. This renewal helps us approach the day with clarity and purpose, rather than being weighed down by yesterday's challenges or tomorrow's uncertainties. In addition to renewing our spirits, stillness during morning prayers helps us cultivate a deeper relationship with God. It is in the quiet moments that we are most aware of His presence. This intimacy with God strengthens our faith and deepens our connection to Him. As we sit quietly, focusing on Him, we become more attuned to His guidance and His will for our lives. Over time, this daily practice of stillness can transform how we relate to God, making us more sensitive to His voice throughout the day. Stillness also invites God's peace into our lives. In Philippians 4 verse 7, we are told that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is not something we can manufacture on our own. It is a gift from God. By starting our day with stillness in prayer, we open ourselves to receiving this peace. As we sit in quiet reflection, we allow God's peace to fill our hearts and minds, preparing us to face the day's challenges with calm and confidence. Furthermore, being still in morning prayers helps us align our day with God's purpose. 
It gives us the space to reflect on what truly matters and to seek His guidance for the day ahead. Rather than rushing into our activities, we pause to ask God to direct our steps and bless our efforts. In Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, we are encouraged to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and to not rely on our own understanding, but to acknowledge Him in all our ways, and He will make our paths straight. Morning prayers, especially those filled with moments of stillness, are an opportunity to practice this trust and invite God to guide our day. Incorporating stillness into morning prayers can also be a form of spiritual protection. As we sit quietly before God, we are reminded of His power and His protection over us. We can pray for His guidance and ask for His protection over our loved ones and ourselves as we go about our day. This act of stillness reinforces our faith that God is our defender and no weapon formed against us shall prosper, as stated in Isaiah 54, verse 17. In this way, stillness in prayer is not passive. It is an active stance of faith that positions us to receive God's strength and protection. The beauty of stillness in morning prayer is that it is accessible to everyone, no matter how busy life gets. It doesn't require a lot of time or a specific location, just a willing heart and a quiet mind. Even a few moments of stillness before the rush of the day can have a profound impact on our spiritual well-being. These moments, though brief, invite God's presence into our day and allow us to center ourselves on His truth and His promises. Stillness also teaches us patience. In a world that values speed and productivity, waiting can feel difficult or unproductive. But in our stillness before God, we learn the value of waiting on Him. As we sit quietly, we are reminded that God's timing is perfect and we don't have to rush. In Isaiah 40, verse 31, we are told that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. This waiting in stillness is an act of faith, trusting that God will provide for us and guide us in His perfect time. Stillness in morning prayers is a powerful practice that allows us to connect deeply with God, refresh our spirits, and align our day with His purpose. It is in these quiet moments that we can hear His voice, receive His peace, and experience His presence in a profound way. By starting the day with stillness, we surrender our worries, invite His guidance, and position ourselves for the blessings He has in store for us. Whether we spend five minutes or an hour in stillness, these moments can transform our day and deepen our relationship with God. In the stillness of morning prayers, we find rest, renewal, and the assurance that God is with us, guiding us every step of the way. In a world where so much competes for our attention, many of us feel overwhelmed by the weight of our struggles. You might be facing challenges that seem impossible to overcome or decisions that keep you up at night. But today, I want you to know that God is speaking to your heart through His Word. In Psalm 46 verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. If you believe that God can bring change to your life today, let us stand in faith together. I will pray with you in the powerful name of Jesus. Stay with me until the end and open your heart to receive the blessings of this prayer. In God's presence, there is peace that goes beyond understanding and strength for every situation. He invites you to lay down every burden, fear, and worry at His feet, trusting that He is already working in ways you cannot yet see. Let us reflect on the power of holy silence. God often speaks to us when we take a moment to pause and listen. Think about the story of Philemon, whose heart was changed through stillness and reflection. In our busy lives, we often miss God's gentle voice because we are too occupied to listen. When we make room for Him, He reveals truths that can transform how we see the world. Taking a step back is not a sign of weakness, but rather a display of wisdom and strength. In Zephaniah 3, verse 17, we are reminded of a beautiful truth. The Lord your God is with you, the Mighty One who saves. He will take great delight in you. 
In His love, He will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with singing. Sometimes, the greatest breakthroughs come not from doing more, but from being still. God is calling you into a deeper relationship where His presence is more real than your problems. In these quiet moments, He desires to heal your heart and renew your mind. When we learn to be still, we put ourselves in a place where we can receive God's wisdom. The Lord wants to guide you in areas you've been trying to solve on your own. In 1 Kings 19, verse 11 to 12, we see that God was not in the wind, earthquake or fire, but in a quiet, gentle voice. This shows us that God often speaks softly, not in chaos. Sometimes the breakthrough you're looking for isn't about doing more, but being still and listening for His direction. Many of us are fighting battles that aren't ours to fight. In stillness, we gain the strength to let go and allow God to take over. It's time to release the burdens you've been carrying and rest in Him. Let's think about how being still before God leads to divine exchanges. When we quiet our minds before Him, we open our hearts to receive His blessings. In Habakkuk 2 verse 2, we see the instruction to write down the vision so it can be clearly understood. God wants to replace your confusion with clarity. Every moment in His presence brings transformation. Consider Titus, who in Titus 1 verse 5 was given the task of setting things in order. This reminds us that stillness can bring clarity to disorder. In these quiet moments, God shifts our limited view to His eternal perspective. Many of us try to solve problems with human wisdom, but God invites us to think and live at a higher level. When we pause before Him, He replaces our anxiety with His peace, turning our hurried thoughts into holy ones. Philippians 4 verse 7 promises us that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This peace isn't just a temporary relief, but a deep change in how we see our challenges. In God's presence, fear turns into faith, doubt is replaced with trust in His promises, and weakness becomes spiritual strength. God wants to exchange your timetable for His perfect timing, your struggles for His solutions, and your limits for His limitless possibilities. When we become still, we create room for divine exchanges to happen. Friends, let's discover how being still helps us see God's reality more clearly. Many of us live without realizing the full blessings God has for us. In Galatians 4 verse 1, we learn that a child, even though they are an heir, is no different from a servant until they mature. This reminds us that growing spiritually is key to understanding our position in God. Think about Stephen, mentioned in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 15 to 16, who, along with his family, devoted themselves to serving others. They knew that serving God starts with knowing Him deeply through quiet time. When we are still, we start to see God's presence in every part of our lives, noticing His blessings where we hadn't before. Our spiritual eyes are open to see how He is working in our situations. In Lamentations 3 verse 25 to 26, we are told that the Lord is good to those who wait for Him and seek Him. It's good to quietly hope for the Lord's salvation. This quiet waiting isn't inactive. It's about staying connected with God and allowing His Spirit to guide us. Some of you may feel drained from trying to serve God with little strength, but He is calling you to pause and be renewed. In these moments of stillness, God wants to show you answers you've been searching for and reveal mysteries you haven't been able to understand in your busy life. Through quietness, we learn to hear His voice better, understand His timing more, and become more sensitive to His guidance. The noise of the world fades away as His presence grows stronger. True transformation happens in these quiet moments with God. When we are still, we allow Him to work deeply within us, preparing us to receive His best. The next level of blessings in your life requires this stillness before God. Your breakthrough is tied to these sacred pauses. Friends, 
Picture a soldier who knows that victory isn't always about constant fighting, but about smart positioning. That's what being still before God does. It places you perfectly for Him to move in your life. In 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 7, God promises to give rest to those who are troubled. This rest isn't a sign of weakness, but a strategic spiritual position that allows God's power to work fully in your life. When you choose stillness, you're not quitting. You're letting God fight for you. Your stillness becomes the stage for His power to be shown in ways beyond what you could imagine. Now, for everyone hearing this, let's go to God in prayer. Whether you pray this with me or listen in faith, receive the blessings of this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you with gratitude and praise. You are the Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. There is no one like you, no one who can compare to your holiness. You are the one who calms the storm with a single word, whose voice shakes mountains, and whose presence silences the seas. Lord, I worship you. You are my strength, my shield, my comfort, and my everlasting peace. You are the eternal God, the one who was, is, and will always be. I praise you for your goodness that lasts forever. My heart is lifted in reverence to your name, the name above all names. You are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Father, I thank you with all my heart for your unending mercy and grace. Thank you for the gift of life today for guiding me with your faithful hand and for your love that never fails. Thank you for surrounding me with your protection and being my safe place in times of trouble. I am grateful for your promises that stand firm and true. You are my hope and my deliverer. Lord, I humbly ask for your forgiveness for every sin I've committed, whether known or unknown, in thought, word, or action. Cleanse me and renew my spirit. As you have forgiven me, I choose to forgive those who have wronged me. I let go of every hurt and lay it at your feet. As I focus on being still in your presence, help me quiet any voice that tries to steal your peace from my life. Teach me to fully trust you, to rest in your promises, and to hand over every fear, doubt, and worry to your mighty hands. Fill me with your perfect peace the peace that goes beyond all understanding so that I can stand strong in faith, even in the middle of challenges. Lord, help me to wait on you, knowing that in stillness you renew my strength and guide me with wisdom beyond my understanding. In Jesus' name, I cast out every spirit of anxiety, fear, and confusion, and I come against all distractions and strongholds that try to pull me away from your presence. Father, I declare that I am firmly rooted in you, unshaken, for you are my rock and my fortress. I lift my heart and hands to you, asking for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. I pray for healing in every area, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack of the enemy, every form of discouragement, every lie, trap, and snare set against me. I declare that no weapon formed against me will succeed, and every tongue that speaks against me will be silenced. Lord, cover me with your wings, protect my loved ones, and surround us with your angels. Bless me with wisdom, favor, and strength as I walk in your will each day. Pour out your peace on my loved ones. Fill us with your love and guide us in everything we do. Lord, as I pray together with those listening, I am thankful for every heart turning to you right now. We come together lifting each other up, praying for one another. Let your Holy Spirit fill every place, bringing comfort, healing, and truth. We claim victory over every fear, doubt, and struggle that has weighed us down. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing over our minds, bodies, and spirits, knowing that you are our healer and great physician. Lord, shield us with your protection. Let no harm come near and lead us in the right paths for your namesake. 
Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If this prayer has blessed you, say amen. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are upon you in Jesus' name. To help spread the gospel, you can share this video with friends or family and click the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos that will bless and uplift you. We appreciate your support. You are blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments so we can bring them before God and others can join us in praying for you. Stand in faith with us as we lift up our prayers. All glory to God. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.